Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is what I got in my husband's stocking. Um, and I wasn't planning to make this video, but a few of you asked for it when I shared what I got for my kids. So I thought I would show what I have in John's stocking. I'm sorry that this video is me whispering, but I never have a chance to film this, um, unless I'm just in another room from him. And so this is the way I have to do it. Um, I will start off by saying that there are a few things that aren't here right now. Um, they haven't arrived yet. So the first is, um, well, two different tops from, um, what's it called? Southern Tide. Um, it's one of his favorite brands. I will link the two shirts. Oh, actually I'll throw pictures in right here. So two different shirts, um, one, um, polo style shirt and one, like casual shirt. And then I also got him a pair of golf shorts from there. I'll put that in here as well. Those should be here by Thursday, I believe. So those will be in his stocking as well. And he'll be very excited about that. Um, and so then from there I'll share everything else. So, um, I got him a pair of these. He really likes just like the workout shorts that have the liner built in like the almost like bike short type of liner. Um, so I got him that one of his gifts under the tree from me is, um, a handful of sessions with a personal trainer who he really likes, um, instead of group lessons. And so, um, I thought it would kind of add to his workout collection because of that. Okay. Next, he really likes this. They just, this like, um, brand of t-shirts called into the AM. Um, I get these on Amazon, but these are like his t-shirts that he'll wear, you know, around the house or, um, if he's like, I don't know, like just running errands. Um, he's pretty much always dressed in work clothes. <laughs> like he, he wears the same clothes to work that he wears casually, just like, you know, Columbia shirts and, um, button downs and polos. So he's rarely wearing casual clothing, but when he does, he likes these tops. Um, I also got him a new top from black rifle coffee. Also from black rifle coffee. I got he and my dad both, um, each a bag of the Blackbeard's delight coffee. Um, I don't remember what the draw was. Okay. So this is a dark roast. It says set sail with this majestic dark roast and upon your journey, you will find a smoky aroma and a robust flavor with hints of Baker's chocolate. Then I also grabbed them each the whole bean. They're both whole bean. Um, the 30 presents out their holiday blend and it probably is sold out by now. It sells out rather quickly, but I did this on black Friday. I don't know if you watched my son's stocking video, but I mentioned in that video that I got his shirt for free and it was because I ordered two bags of coffee. So I ordered these two and got this shirt for free for John. And then I ordered the two for my dad and got a shirt for free for my other son. Um, moving on from there, I got a few things for his desk. Um, be, he recently hired a new office manager, personal assistant, who is my sister, which is so fun. And, um, so he moved desks and so I wanted to get him a few things for his new desk. So, um, he, he actually complains and I really do need to take care of this at our house. Um, we don't have a lot of pictures of just he and I around our house. I have a lot of like family pictures or things like that, but especially like in our room, I have like one really old picture of the two of us and we've gone on so many adventures and we have so many fun pictures together. So, um, I got these two frames. I obviously still have the, um, you know, the cover on the glass until I actually put the pictures in, but I'm going to put a couple of pictures of just us for his desk. Um, and then I got this too. I know he's going to like this. It's just a pen holder. Um, I've had my eye out for some Bible highlighters that aren't pastel colors. Let me know in the comments if you guys have a recommendation. 
Um, he, he, I would love to find him some Bible highlighters that are not bright yellow and that are not pink and purple. <laughs> like, I don't know why they're only marketed toward women, but I know that he would love that. Um, so I got this for his desk. It's this fun wooden globe pencil holder. Um, but I'm hoping that I can get highlighters or some kind of Bible journaling pens to go in there. And then um, also for his desk, I got this little bowling set. It was a risk. I got it on Amazon. It's like, is it going to be nicer? Is it going to be flimsy? Super flimsy, um, but fun nonetheless. And um, he, so the reason I got it is because he's such a fiddler. Like when he's on the phone, if he's taking a work call, I will find him outside literally walking in circles in the driveway or in the yard when he's on the phone at work if i happen to be at his office i see him like touching stuff moving stuff clicking his pen and so i thought that this would be fun for him when he's taking calls it's just like a little wooden bowling set who knows um how long it'll last especially with little pieces like this but um hopefully that'll be something fun for him um, probably something like one of those like Zen gardens would be just as good of an idea, but I thought it'd be fun for him to have something new on his desk. Um, and then my daughter grabbed this for him. It's like a little Chemex ornament. Um, so she wanted to put that in his stocking. Couple more things over here. This, these all came from that same uh, store in Waynesville in North Carolina that I talk about. Um, for my older daughter's stocking, it's called Minted. They have this really cool like barbecue section downstairs. And I got him this balsamic garlic herb jam. He is gonna love this. I don't, like, if you know John, you know he's absolutely gonna love this. I also got him this hickory smoked salt from Alchemy Spice Company um, in Chattanooga. And then... Um, this gunpowder green tea. He loves green tea. If we go out, um, to the, like Starbucks, he'll get green tea. So I thought he would like this. Um, we, I see this company, this Oliver Pluff and Co. Oh, it's from Charleston. Okay. I see it all over the place when we travel. I think it's because we <laughs> travel to a lot of like historical sites. So there's like a lot of really fun museum stores. And I see a, this company there quite often, but I'd never seen this gunpowder tightly rolled green tea. So I thought that was kind of neat. Uh, last couple things here. So I got him this book. He doesn't know about it. It's hard for me to find like Bible study or like commentary books that he doesn't know about already. But this was in, in one of my Bible study lectures this year. Um, the speaker referenced this book and so she didn't necessarily endorse it or anything, but it sounded interesting to me. And so I think he'll find it interesting. Um, it has a forward by Sproul and, um, yeah, it's called God's devil, the incredible story of how Satan's rebellion serves God's purposes. So I am interested in reading this after him. Then I texted this to, um, Kristen from Delightfully Feasting because she reads so many books and I thought she might have some advice for me on whether this book was a worthy read or not. So I said, hey, have you ever heard of the book God's Devil? I texted her and she texted me back and was like, oh, that looks interesting. It reminds me of Spectacular Sins by Piper. And so then I went ahead and got him that book as well because I was like, well, never heard of that one either. So that just hasn't come yet. I ordered that one used um, and that will also be here Thursday. So those are the two books I'm putting in there for him. And then this I thought was so neat, this um, Then and Now Bible Maps inserts. So this shows modern day cities and then um, against Bible maps. So Middle East now, Middle East then. Um, and so it's got this clear overlay. And this, I believe, was less than $10, so I thought it was really neat. Um, the Exodus now, the Exodus then. So this is nice and thin, and he can put it just right into his, um, you know, can either, like, just tuck it into his Bible or um, bring it with him when we're As going to I church. I was editing the video today, I realized that I was missing something. Um, I got John some of the Young Living Beard Oil that he really likes. He really likes this scent 
and um, I got to use some rewards points for it. So grabbed him this as so, well. That is everything that is in my husband's stocking. Like I said, those additional things from Southern Tide haven't come yet. And then a couple of other things that haven't arrived yet, but that is what is in John's stocking. I hope that was helpful for any of you who are looking for gift ideas for your husbands. I mean, there's like coffee things, I don't know, exercise things, work things, barbecue things. Hopefully that'll give you guys some a little boost if you're looking for one. I know like men can be so difficult and if you just type in online like men's stocking stuffers, you get a bunch of random grilling accessories that you're never going to use or like tools. And John is a contractor, so he has every tool. There's never anything I can get for him that he doesn't already have through work. So that's what I got for him and I'm excited. So I will see you guys tomorrow.